Hi everyone, I am Misuru Jayakant. This is another video tutorial about Android. Today what I am going to do, uh, I am telling you how to access the uh, flashlight uh, which is inbuilt with the camera. So how are we going to access the cam camera flashlight and how, we, how are we supposed to turn it on and turn it off. Simply you can, with this knowledge you can simply create an application uh, which will enable the flashlight and which will disable the flashlight so for an example okay let's let's start off with uh, the android studio so we can download the android studio i'm not using eclipse here so this is uh, google's new android studio so it's there you can download it by googling it so what i'm trying to uh, do i run this and i create a new project Click file, new project. And then type right, flashlight demo. Right. Uh, let me create a test package. So the minimum required SDK is uh, gingerbread and targeting SDK uh, Jelly Bean, right? So create a custom launch icon. So let me do some padding. And so you can customize the uh, icon, right? That you want. It may be an image, clip or text, anything. So they have given that feature. It will be useful for you later once you build the application so blank active uh, so and then the next one once you click next so there are some predefined activities that they have created so i will be going with blank activity but assume that you are going to create an application which has a login so you can start off with login activity so let me <coughs> create a blank activity so i'll i'll, I'll keep it uh, main activity right so navigation type um I don't need a navigation type because it's just a one single UI that I'm going to create. So I, I mean I don't have any uh, more 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 than one UI, so I don't need a navigation type. So Gradle is used in here, right? So the Gradle uh, is a it's nothing just a building build automation tool. It can be used to uh, generate uh, APK files and it, it is used to create an android project also okay the project is created this is a project right so um inside that go to src so i have the android manifest file first <coughs> don't forget to add the permissions user permissions uh, to the android manifest because you will be using the hardware features you will be accessing the hardware uh, features so you you need to ask the permission from the system right so in order to do that you have to add permissions to the manifest file if you don't add the file uh, the permissions what will happen you know the moment when you try to access the resource you will get an exception security exception right okay mm. okay uh, wait until the gradle build the required files okay right let's see permission Right. 
now let me add some users permission and android name let me android yeah this, this is the one right the first thing android permission camera so you'll be accessing camera once you have this so once you have this one what will happen uh, the system will let you to access that resource okay now this is our main activity right so i'll be deleting this one i don't need this i don't create a mm, right okay first of all we need to create the ui right so the ui is mapped with to this to this activity main xml so let's once you just let's just click this activity main so it will be direct to you it will be directing to you to this activity main xml file so they have created a small text view which has this hello world as a string so i want to change this uh, sorry i want to change this text to um, a flashlight demo right so double click on that it change the variable to title right okay the string we're referring to somewhere in here this value strings right so i'll change this to title and it shouldn't be hello world it should be flash light demo right save it okay now you see that now i need two buttons two small buttons okay mm, we'll create big buttons here naming once you double click the button you can change its text let's say on right so the button id will be on btn right okay so i'll drag it to here and another button i need to be created off of btn right so let me drag it to here right okay now let me save everything right now what i have to do okay what i have to know i need okay i'll save this you i think and I need to do I need to start code here so you need to get the button to button instances right mm, let me say on btn and find view by right so this is the way that you can access your XML that you have written mm, on btn right okay copying and pasting it to here oops sorry so that i can change the name of right okay so i need to cast it to a button right <coughs> Now we need to create a listener, right? So I need to set on click listener new on click listener, right? Yeah. Now once you click the button, it will trigger to this point, right? It will come to that point, and let me copy and paste and create a new listener for that btn right now okay now what what will happen right <coughs> once you click the button it will 
directly come to that point right now in this point what we have to do we have to create the camera instance and then we have to open the camera and set the parameters so let me create a global instance global reference um, so camera. instantiate the object in here okay now what I need to do I need to set some parameters to the camera right so what I will be doing I need to create some parameters camera dot parameter dot Here. Let me use this one. Right? No. This one. Right? Mm. Say camera panels. Camera panels. Right? And then what you have to do is cam. Get parameters. Sorry, the camera bit. Get. Parameters. Let me see. I have. you have to open the camera right open. okay we have uh, included the wrong camera instance right that's the problem we have imported the wrong camera mm. import okay so port class Camera hardware. Right. Sorry. Let's try. Yeah, this is the way. Right. Get parameters and then you have to have the parameter here camera dot parameters right so problem solved now we have to set flash mode camera dot parameters dot flash mode torch so, right okay right then what you have to do you have to set that parameters to this camera object and then what you have to do have to say camera dot start preview yeah okay 
right so starting the camera is fine now you have to stop the camera right so let's stop the camera stop review and then you have to so release the camera right so then the camera will be closed right okay hmm that's it about the application right so let's see how it's going to work so let's run this FL demo right and see whether it works well So I have already later so it asks for the running device right okay APK right okay this is the APK right so you can directly transform this APK I mean like you can directly move this APK to your phone and see whether it works let me see there you go right so just try to click it on but since the emulator doesn't have a flash so it will throw you an exception it should right yeah so what will happen now i'll put this to my phone and see i'll let's see what happens Okay, this is uh, so I'm uh, I, I'm going to <coughs> install the software now, right? So let me install it. So this is the application that we built, right? So the application installed. Let me click done, and then you can see. Yeah, this is the icon, right? That I've built. Remember this one, right? So let me click that. <coughs> so here, this is our application, right? So once I click the on button, so it should turn on the flashlight, right? So let me see. So flashlight is turned on, but once you click the off button, it should turn off, right? Okay, 